Evening, welcome to our service of Compline on the eighth Sunday after Trinity. A moment and we will begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we pause to reflect on the day now coming to its close. And bring to mind those things for which we ask God's forgiveness. And we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night thread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know o father that we ask be done through jesus christ your only son and holy spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 verses 1 and 21 to 33. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. Psalm 134 Come. Bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 9 
you, O Lord, are in the midst of us. We are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord, our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Lord, we thank you for this day coming to its end, for all it has contained, for the blessings given and received, for the joys shared and conferred upon us. As we bring this day to its close, having come and confessed our wrongdoings, we bring all that is within and before, all the burdens and challenges, all that weighs heavily upon us, and we lay all at the foot of the cross, trusting in your goodness, your grace, your love and your healing for us and all for whom we pray, and this world on which we live. So let us come before the Lord and lift to him all that burdens us, the needs that we know of, and the people for whom we pray now. Lord, we pray for those who have medical conditions, those broken in body, mind and spirit. We lift to you those we know who struggle in situations, in circumstances and in the challenges of this world with all. That is, at this time, causing people to have less money to buy food, Worrying over their mortgages, worrying about medical situations and more beside. And this night we pray for Josh and for his ankle and for the need of surgery that is there for him. We pray for Molly's sister and give thanks for the safe delivery of her child this night. And pray for her health as her baby does well and her body has borne in itself the signs and the pressures of birth. Father God, we pray for the people we know this night who live in broken relationships and who live in challenges, for those whose marriages are broken and relationships gone, more beside confronts a party left and a party who remains. We pray for our friends and families and all their needs. We pray for our church and for the witness of the Christians in this world and throughout the globe. 
And we pray that this night you would visit this place, Lord. That you would drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and all creation this night and guard us in peace. May your blessings be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. And as night enfolds us, in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Sleep well. May those for whom you pray this night know the presence of God, his peace, his healing, and most of all, the reconciliation of the cross between all humanity, all creation and the Godhead, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Bless you. Take care. Catch you tomorrow. Good night. God bless.